to my YouTube channel. Today we will be doing a drugstore get ready with me using some products uh, that I picked up from the drugstore. Some of them are newer products um, and others of them are just new to me products but we'll be doing a wear test today using these items. So we'll go ahead and jump in. Um, first we'll be starting off by priming my face with the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. It says it has a 12 hour grip um, and that is plumps, moisturizes, and perfects. So I'm kind of excited to try this because this is supposed to be a dupe um, for the milk hydrating grip primer um, so I'm curious to see if this is gonna make my makeup wear better um, with the foundation that I'll be using today it's the profusion um, feel good skin uh, foundation and I've really been loving this I've been wearing over the past uh, week or so and you know I'm starting to think that this could be a dupe for the new NARS soft matte complete foundation this is a really excellent foundation so I know how that foundation wears I want to see if this primer um, can make this already lasting uh, foundation kind of grip to my skin maybe just a little bit better so we'll be testing that out uh, today so I think I've uh, got myself primed here we'll go into the profusion cosmetics feel good skin foundation and see how it kind of covers up all of these spots and scars on my skin on this side of my face here I'll be using the real techniques uh, expert face brush here and I'm just going to kind of Swirl this around the face and just kind of brush this in. So as you can see, this has very good coverage. And I think that like texture wise, it's not necessarily a dupe um, for the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, but the way it finishes and the coverage you can get out of this foundation is really good and it makes your pores look so much smaller and better and it really just perfects your skin and this all wear on this foundation is really good you can purchase this foundation um, like I did at Walmart yeah. this profusion brand is sold at the Walmart's near me um, but I did have a challenge finding the foundation like it was only at certain locations that this foundation was at I had to drive a little ways to get this so it may be kind of a challenge I did see it on Walmart's website as well but I believe it was $7.97, which is an excellent price for a foundation that can perform and outperform some foundations, in my opinion, um, at Sephora and high-end foundations at Ulta. Like, this is excellent. So that's kind of the coverage um, that I got on that side, and it kind of covered... Um, all of the imperfections around my mouth. Um, the other side, I'm going to use the um, e.l.f. Total uh, face sponge so you guys can see how it looks with the sponge. And I'm just going to swirl it on this side as well. Um, and I'm not using a whole lot, I don't think. Um, but I'm just going to kind of blend this in. It just covered um, I, I do see some spots that I want to conceal in um, but for the most part I feel like I have coverage um, I think it looks excellent um, we'll go ahead and move on to a concealer that I picked up though it's the true match L'Oreal eye cream and a concealer um, and I got mine in the shade C1-2 Fair Pale, um, and this kind of gave me vibes like IT Cosmetics um, concealer. I, I can't think of the top of my head what it is, but it gave me those IT Cosmetic concealer vibes, and I was like, okay, well, I'll give this a try. Now, I've obviously taken it out of the package, so I haven't used this yet, um, so we're going to use it today and kind of see what it looks like under the eyes, um, but I'm going to give this a shot. I'll probably wear this for a couple weeks or a month. Um, and just give it a really good um, wear test and see um, if I really think that this is worth it, if it, it really is an eye cream, if it's giving any benefits underneath my eyes. But I can say now, um, kind of using it, it's very much 
I don't know if you can see it, but it's very much a very thin formula. Um, so it's uh, not what I expected. I felt I kind of expected it to be kind of thick um, since it said it's an eye cream and a concealer. Um, but it does appear that it's very thin um, and I, I don't know, I kind of like it. This is the only problem I can see like right off the bat is this is the only color uh, that was light um, in the shade range and it is kind of the color of my skin um, which is fine. It's not a concealer that's a shade or two lighter than my under eye. Um, it's not necessarily my preference, um, but it's kind of a concern because although I do have fair skin, I don't have the fairest skin. So um, there's going to be some fairer skin gals that's not going to be able to use this concealer because the lightest shade that they have in the line, which is uh, kind of concerning uh, because there are obviously fairer shades um, than I do or than I have. And this to me is like a light, um, not a fair shade. So... But upon application here, I'm putting more on that eye. Uh, but upon application here, I do see that it gives coverage. It's got a light slip uh, to it. And I don't see, we'll give it a second and we'll kind of kind of powder and we'll move on to eyes. But I'm not seeing it really set in anywhere. Um, that it's that it's not really setting in any wrinkles or anything. Just like sometimes you can, sometimes you can tell like right off the bat. Like you put it on and a second later and it's in your under eye wrinkles and you're like damn okay uh, but yeah this one's not doing that so that's good I don't really want to uh, conceal my blemishes with that so I'm, I'm gonna use my favorite elf 16 hour wear camo concealer to kind of conceal some spots on my face that I need concealing I'll set in with this uh, elf sponge all right, now I'm gonna powder the face and I got this new e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. It's not super new, um, but I still haven't tried it. So I picked it up. I believe I may have gotten this one from Target. So I'm gonna kind of bake underneath the eyes a little bit with this and kind of dust this all over my face. And I will use the ColourPop F20 brush to kind of uh, swirl this around my face and uh, see how this does. My face is set. I kind of put a little more powder than I normally do underneath my eyes just in case there's any eyeshadow fallout. I'm not seeing too much of a do uh, with this um, powder here. So we'll continue using this, but this just kind of felt to me like a regular uh, face setting powder. Uh, nothing too glowy about it, but so I'm gonna move into eyes now. I'm gonna prime with my Milani eyeshadow primer here. So I'm gonna do like um, a I'm gonna do like a bronzy eye because I did pick up this new L'Oreal uh, Brilliant Eyes Liquid Eyeshadow. Wanted to test this out um, today and I got it in the shade Bronze Light. So we're doing a bronzy eye today. So I got to pair with it. It's not new, but um, it's the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in Pumpkin Spice. I thought I could use some of these matte shades in there to anchor down uh, this bronze shade. Um, so I'm gonna crack this open here um, and put it on my eyes. I'm gonna go in first with this shade right here with the ColourPop E15 brush. Um, I'm just gonna go in here and I'll kind of zoom you in. that across my lid. Now I'm going to go in with this flatter shader brush here and that's the ColourPop E16. I'm going to go in with that same color. Um, that's the method I'll use to kind of deepen this up just a bit. Now we kind of deepened it up. I'm going to go back in with the E15 to blend that out. All right, and now we're gonna go in with the L'Oreal Brilliant Eyes Liquid Eyeshadow here. And again, I got mine in the shade Bronze Light. I'm just going to use, well, first I'm gonna try to use the applicator that it comes with to kind of sweep it across my eye and uh, see how that goes. So that's how that's looking now. Um, I'm going to leave the um, 
I'm going to let it set up here and then I'm going to go in with the darkest um, shade of the e.l.f. bite size eyeshadow and pumpkin pie but this shadow kind of looks opaque I might have to do two coats of this actually kind of let that dry and uh, I'm gonna go in with another coat I think I'm gonna go in again uh, to see if I can intensify this shadow here And it does intensify to a very metallic finish. It does look like there are glitters in here as well, like um, silver glitters in here. And it really does intensify it quite a bit. You may just have to do two coats with this type of eyeshadow. All right, now I'm gonna go back in uh, with the same matte brown shade that we're using right here, back in with the E16 and kind of blend out the edges of this with that shade here. And um, I did the other eye off camera here while we're waiting for um, this um, eye right here to dry. And I used, oh gosh, a little chunk of something came on my face. Um, I used the shadow on the other side. I'm waiting for it to dry and um, I used one swipe. So uh, quite a bit of product is, here let me show you, quite a bit of product comes out on this. It's kind of chunky and maybe for the first time I kind of swiped uh, along the side here too much product off. Um, and that's why it was kind of um, not as uh, strong as I would want it to be or not as metallic as I want it to be. And the other eye, it didn't wipe it off. And um, upon first application, it was um, just as um, metallic and uh, pigmented as when I applied it two coats on the other side. So maybe it's user error. Um, you can get um, the amount of pigment shine and uh, uh, metallicness that you want with just one swipe um, of using the application that comes into the liquid eyeshadow. Um, that might have been just user error, but there is a lot. So I'm curious that as time goes on, if it's gonna get clumpier or chunkier um, as time moves on, dry out, it might get too chunky. So that would be my concern. So I'm getting some fallout, but I don't think it's from the matte shadow. I think it's actually just blending um, chunks away of the metallic uh, liquid eyeshadow there. I don't think it's e.l.f. I think that's the L'Oreal stuff. So that's slightly concerning. Now I'm going to go into the darker, more cool tone um, brown shade in the palette using a ColourPop E21 brush. And I'm just going to place this in the outer V here and just darken it up just a bit, give a little bit of definition to the eye. And what I'm gonna do now is dust away the fallout there with ColourPop E20 or F21 brush. I'm just gonna kind of dust that away. And I'm going to use that same E21 brush. I'm going to mix these two brown shades here and just kind of go under my eye here. All right. I'm going to go back again, um, back again into um, this lighter brown shade and um, back in the E15 and just kind of blow out the edges here of the eyeshadow, make sure there's nothing harsh and everything's kind of blended together. Next, I also have the Profusion Waterproof Shadow Stick here. And I will look for a shade that looks like it's in the shade Twinkle. And I was just going to draw this kind of at the top here of my eyebrow. And then I was going to use this as a inner corner highlight. It's not too poppy, um, but you can see it there. Brow here. 
and to kind of blend that out under the brow I'm going to use a ColourPop E3 brush and just kind of blend that in. And while I have you zoomed in, I'll do this eyebrow. I got the L'Oreal Micro Ink Brow Pen here, and I got mine in the shade Brunette. And uh, we're gonna put this on my brow, and we'll kind of see how this ends up looking. And then I'll go off camera and uh, finish my other eye. And uh, ooh, this is uh, quite pigmented. Um, so before I guess I jumping ahead of myself, but this is kind of what the uh, applicator looks like now it's kind of got these like a comb but it's like super that's what it this is what it kind of looks like here looks like it's at an angle like a like a deep angle here um but uh we're going to see i'm going to just gently kind of keep it and just gently kind of keep it on its side here and just brush it through my brows and um kind of see how it looks it's not like too wet. It does seem to give off decent color. Um, this one's definitely different. It's got a different angle than my beloved Benefit Brow Micro Brow Pen. Um, I did pick up the um, Milani Brow Pen, so I'm gonna give that a try. I have the Sephora one, the Milani one now, um, this L'Oreal one, and the Benefit one. Um, and I was going to test all of them out and kind of give you guys my final thoughts on which one I thought was worth your money. I think that this is really creeping up in price. L'Oreal prices are just getting up there. Um, I know for the brilliant, the brilliant eyes, this was twelve ninety nine at Walmart. I thought that was kind of expensive. Um, there's oh the um, True Match, um, True Match concealer here, eye cream in a concealer. Um, this is fourteen ninety nine, so it's fifteen bucks. Um, I also recently purchased the um, Paradise L'Oreal Paradise like tinted moisturizer. Um, I plan on doing a video on that one too, and that one was I believe sixteen dollars. So um, you know most of these products are you know fifteen to twenty dollars. Um, so you can't just go get a full face of L'Oreal products and not be out you know two hundred three hundred dollars easy. Um, so they're really creeping up in price and so we'll test them out and see if the quality is also there and it's worth your money um, But I'm not I'm not mad at these brows. I don't I don't think they look bad at all um, So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my other eye off camera kind of fix up this mess here I might pop on some eyelashes and I'll be right back. Um, we'll move on to the rest of my face All right guys All right guys, I'm back. So I did pop some lashes on um, and I finished my other eye. I used these eyelashes here today that I got off of Amazon. I got this big old pack here. I've got a, quite a few like Amazon packs. I don't know what style they are, but they're just kind of, you know, basic lashes kind of fanned out um, towards the end. And I'm, I'm also still using and testing out the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara and uh, I'm just trying to use that bad boy up. So I've kind of completed the eyes, finished the other eyebrow, and now we're going to move on to face. Now, I got a few products from Makeup Revolution because I'm really um, kind of lacking in the drugstore um, bronzer arena. So I got this big one. It's probably not new, but it's the Makeup Revolution Mega Cool Bronze. I thought um, this seemed uh, pretty uh, like a good color. It's a humongous pan. I mean, look at my face. It's huge. Um, so I got this hum uh, bronzer to test out today as well as another product from Revolution that I'm sure isn't too new, uh, but it's the Highlighter Reloaded um, and this is in the shade Just My Type. So I'm going to start off um, using bronzer here and I am going to use a dirty brush here from ColourPop, the F21 brush and I'm just going to kind of sweep this bronzer across my face. So it seemed like it'd be a perfect kind of shade um, for my skin tone and it looks like it blends in pretty well. I'm kind of liking this. Um, it can be built up. You just kind of gently go across it. It seems like it's not too warm. It's not too cool. And it does seem to sculpt the face pretty well. So this might be a pretty good drugstore bronzer for me. I, tend uh, I tend plan on testing out a few more drugstore bronzers in the future. I know that the um, 
most popular one's probably the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, but honestly, I may be alone here, but I just can't stand the smell. And I was getting a lot of breakouts kind of like right here on my face and my cheeks. I thought maybe it was that. So I stopped using that. I think it's a decent bronzer, but it may just be not working with my skin. Um, and it just broke me out. So trying to find something good um, that doesn't break me out, matches my skin, and blends in beautifully. Because sometimes bronzers are tricky. Sometimes they can look muddy on your face and it looks skippy and muddy and it's like you just smeared mud all over your face. So this one doesn't appear to give me those vibes here, but I hope I like it because I have this uh, humongous pan of it. I'm just gonna go over and blend that in some more with the F18 brush from ColourPop. I'm just gonna blend all of that in. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the BH uh, Vanilla Peach Truffle um, blush here. And let's see, I think today I'm going to use this top shade right here. I believe this shade has a little bit of shimmer to it. And I'm gonna go in with my favorite e.l.f. brush, the e.l.f. blush brush. It's like the perfect shape and it's very affordable. I just love it. So I'm just gonna sweep this blush across my cheeks. And um, this stuff does kind of smell like a cherry dessert. And it seems to give off decent payoff. This top shade that I'm using here is the only shade in the palette that has shimmer to it. And it's very glowy blush. It looks very beautiful on the skin. I'll have to keep playing with this blush palette. And I will follow up with you guys in a future video and let you know my thoughts on these uh, blushes here. Uh, but... They do blend very well into the skin. And in my opinion, this looks beautiful. Just gives you a healthy glow to your cheeks. And it just looks youthful. And I think it looks cute. And I'm thinking that looks pretty beautiful. What are your guys' thoughts? Now we're gonna go in to highlight uh, with that Revolution highlight there. Um, and it, it's again in the shade My Type. And I'm going in with the Morphe M510 brush. And I'm just gonna highlight the tops of my cheekbones here and just a little bit down the bridge of my nose and above my cupid's bow here. I'm not into like a super intense highlight, but that actually looks really beautiful. Like it's not an everyday highlight for me, but if you're going out or just want an extra pop um, to your cheeks, I think it looks pretty good. Just a little bit right here and right here, kind of make it look natural. All right, now that I'm all glowy and hoey here, I am gonna move along to my lip here and I'm gonna use this Essence Stay Eight Hour Lip Liner. It says it's waterproof here. This little wonderful um, lip liner. I'll swatch it for you here. It's a beautiful brown shade, perfect for fall. And this is in the shade, uh-oh, where is the shade? It might be on the lid. This is in the shade because duh, and uh, we'll go ahead and start applying that to my lips here. So I started applying this and I was out of frame, so I kind of applying this lip liner to my lips here. This is the first time I've used this and this is gliding on my lips just effortlessly. If this really stays on your lips, this may be my new favorite uh, lip liner. All right, now that we got the lip liner on, we'll follow that up with the, I got the new Juvia's Place um, lipsticks. It's a velvety matte lipstick and I got mine in the shade Muted. And I love the way they had this displayed. I got this at Ulta. Have it displayed like nudes, chocolates, and like mauve shades. And you could find, they're like sectioned out and it seems like you could go find for your skin tone the perfect mauve, the perfect nude, the perfect like chocolatey brown shade. Um, which I thought was um, wonderful uh, to shop to to see, you know, what kind of shade works with your skin tone. So it's kind of set up like the lightest mauve up into the deeper mauve that'll work with more deeper skin tones. This is the packaging here. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I mean, who wouldn't want to keep this in their purse? This is beautiful. Um, and so you kind of open it up and, um, it kind of has, 
Um, it has the Charlotte Tilbury bullet shape here, um, kind of angled just like the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. So, um, and in my shade here, I'll swatch it. Um, again, this is the shade. This is the shade muted again, and that's what kind of looks like a beautiful chocolatey brown, kind of a '90s brown kind of vibe. Um, and I thought it was perfect for fall. So this is kind of what you're working with. I do like the bullet in this lipstick. It does allow for you to get um, more precise application on your lip line. Um, and I think that uh, that makes it very easy. Feel to the lips. This lipstick feels moisturizing. Yeah, kind of matte. Um, on the lips, so I do like the way this lipstick feels. Now in this line, Juvia's Place did come out with some lip liners as well as some lip glosses. I didn't pick those up yet. If that's something that you guys are interested in seeing, I could pick those items up and kind of test them out and let you know my thoughts on them. So this is kind of the look that I've achieved today. Um, we're going to give this a wear test. I'll be back in probably about six hours. I'll let you guys know how this is wearing. But I have a feeling um, I've already been testing out this foundation and I absolutely love it. And I have a feeling all is going to look great, but we'll see in about six hours. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, this is about six hours of wear um, with these makeup products. And I think that it looks really good. Um, there is some wear around my mouth here from wearing a mask. I'm also using some more acne type products around my mouth to try to combat um, the pimples and acne around around my mouth and so it's dry and flaky. I'm gonna insert a picture because I know um, it's dark, it's getting darker outside so the lighting kind of sucks. So I'm gonna insert a picture so you can kind of see the way the makeup looks a little better um, and you'll notice that it is dry and flaky on my pimples area but the, for the most part, my forehead, around my nose, on my cheeks, everything looks really good uh, i'm really loving this foundation i think it's absolutely excellent quality the l'oreal products that we kind of tried today as far as the concealer and the liquid eyeshadow i'll have to keep uh kind of trying out as well as the um micro ink pen i'm going to continue using that we'll see what kind of wear time we get out of that and this juvia's place lipstick is really nice it's not the best wearing lipstick but it is a bullet lipstick nonetheless it's got a beautiful formula beautiful packaging and i i do like um that lipstick so those are kind of my final thoughts on um, some of the products that I tried today. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Take care. Bye.